Hey there everybody, Red Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD. In the last episode, we went to Gateon Port, ran into a thug named Zook, who wasn't a very good look for us, but luckily we got rescued by some mystery men. And so we went, we discovered that Part Shop was not actually being run by one, anyone at the moment, and now we've tracked down the owner of the shop, Macon. Let's go talk to him. Hello there, Thomas, was it? You've come calling with your young sister again? Wrong! Today we are at on Port on a very important job, Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. Thomas explained what had been happening to Megan. What was that? The lab HQ or the HQ Lab's director was abducted? That's terrible. Lex Luthor stole 40 cakes, and that's terrible. Their modus operandi it feels similar to that incident five years ago. It may be Cypher. But one can't conclusively say that. Before we get to thinking, you need your machine part. It's been waiting for you at my shop in Gateon Port. Have a word with my grandson, Purr. He should know. Okay, so we just got the runaround from this guy. But I believe we needed to talk to him in order to activate a plot event that will actually cause Purr to show up. And I think I called him Par in the last episode, so uh, my apologies for that. Um, you may say anything, but Dr. Kamiko's inventions are number one in the whole wide world. Oh, I don't know. What Joby likes best is Joby's googly glasses. <laughs> but these are strictly off limits. Choking cannot fun- Chogan? Mouth, what are you doing? Choba cannot function without them. Extremely, absolutely not. Aw, oh, that's so boring. Okay, I think we're on our way now. Let's just head out from here. This place actually has a pretty scary atmosphere, if I do say so myself. It might just be the music. It might be the constant and eternal lightning. But maybe that's just another thing. Let's head back to Gateon Port. It's a lot sunnier there. In fact, it's always sunny. All the time. So it's basically like California. That's, I'm not saying California's sunny all the time, but it is um, quite sunny. Hi. You have anything else to say? That battle? No, okay. You just have the same thing. I forgot I was supposed to get on my errand. You should probably remember. Just, just say. Or, you know, you could go home and ask. I don't know, how far away do you live? You probably live here. It's not a very big city. But anyways, let's try heading inside and see if Purr is there. He is not. Unless I did something wrong, I believe we're supposed to go out and just try to go to the bridges, I think. Yep, there he is. Alright, now we get to see, we get a little preview of how this works. You step on a button, and then it turns it. It's about as simple as that. Yet, they're the most ingenious puzzles in the entire game. I'm lying about that, by the way. Whew, that settles that. All fixed. You want to talk to me? Yeah, the part shop is ours. Huh? A machine part? You need a machine part? Where's Grandpa? He's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's. Ah! When my grandpa gets excited over some mechanical thing, he's off like a shot. Never mind the shop or his grandson, me. I'll find that machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? It's not like I've been there, you know, twice already. Grandpa should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. Ooh. That is kind of kind of a little sketchy relationship, but hey, I'm not one to pry into other people's affairs. Just get me the part that I need. Yep, I need a part. That's actually a pretty fancy looking safe. Also, there was nothing actually in it. Unless there was, you know, a little sparky sparky sparkly thing on the ground you know like our pda or sorry our p star da thomas obtained the machine part it's a rare item that machine part it took a while to order in how's your di director professor crane go doing wow that is weird it's director professor thomas explained what's been happening to her the hq labs director was abducted by some goofs the shadow pokemon I've been through something like that before, but who would have thought it would happen again? I hope the lab director's found. I'll be rooting for you, so don't give up. Well, isn't that nice of him? Well, we finally have our machine part. You know, after we were ordered to get it, what, two episodes ago? Something like that. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick check on our Pokemon here. 
Okay, we're actually we're all healed up. We don't need to uh, go over to the Pokemon Center. We can actually explore a little bit more of Gatian Port now that the bridges are open to us. Uh, we couldn't do it before for obvious reasons. You know, the bridges apparently weren't working. Um, but, you know, now they are, so that's good. Um, this part just leads over to here, so we actually need to press this one more time. And I probably stepped... Yeah, I did step on the wrong one. I was like, don't tell me I stopped stepping on the wrong one. And I did. So I believe... Yeah, this one turns it counterclockwise, and the one that is now currently below us turns it clockwise. Such the hardest of puzzles, you know. I messed up, so I had to, you know, hit it twice instead of just hitting the, the one that I needed to. It's an island far from the coast of Gatian Port. It's surrounded by vicious ocean currents, however, so no one can go near. Of course, everyone around these parts knows better than to go near that island in the first place. Probably because it's a volcano. Slight spoilers. It's a volcano. But anyways, we need to rotate it clockwise. We need to hit this one. Yeah, I can solve puzzles. Look at me. Look at how smart I am. I'm not that smart. Well, okay, that's debatable. But I'm not the one to talk about it. So, uh, over here is a guy. And he actually has a shadow Pokemon. So... If you miss this, which I can see why it'd be a very easy thing to miss, then uh, this guy will actually still be here the entire time, but by the time you, know, you think to come back here, you might already be very much higher level, and so it'll be kind of hard to capture his Pokemon, unless you have a move like Ball Swipe, and I'm not entirely sure where, if so, you can get it in this game, so yeah, just come here and get this now, and you know, you'll have one more Pokemon on your team, even though I'm not going to be using Lediba on my team. So, I think I'm just going to take out the Tailo first. Oh, okay. Um, we got a new move. Uh, I'll explain how that works in a second. I'm just going to go for Shadow Blitz, I guess. Um, so, purifying Pokemon, Shadow Pokemon, is something that I should explain. So, that bar that has uh, five segments under Teddy Yusha's health um, is its sh shadow meter, I believe is what the game calls it. Um, and once you get that meter all the way down to zero, um, then the Pokemon is ready to be purified. Uh, there are a number of ways that you can get that uh, to go down. Uh, one of them is using Pokemon in battle. Every time you send out a Pokemon in battle, it will go down. Um, there's something that we haven't encountered yet called reverse mode. Um, that if Pokemon goes into reverse mode, uh, it'll take recoil at the end of every turn until you call it out of reverse mode. So, uh, if you call a shadow Pokemon out of reverse mode, however, it will greatly lower uh, the shadow gauge. And then there are two other ways that you can do outside of battle. One is just carrying the Pokemon around with you. So just by walking around, uh, it'll lower the gauge a little bit. And then the final way of reducing uh, the shadow meter, uh, we won't be able to access for a little bit, um, and that's Cologne, and I'll, I'll get into those once we actually get uh, to that point in the game. Uh, but that's basically uh, that, that's it for purifying Pokemon. Those are the things you can do. Um, you'll also be able to use the Purify Chamber later if that wasn't apparent, but again, that is not accessible to us at the moment. So, uh, we have this Ladybug down to red health, so I think it's time that we throw a Pokemon catch it. And I guess we can use Shadow Mist. Um, yeah, so Shadow... I think it was Shadow Blitz, I believe is what it has. Um, it's a 40 power Shadow type move, so that does damage. Uh, Shadow Mist, I believe, lowers evasiveness. Um, that's the reason why I used it, because I don't want to hurt it anymore. Um, but yeah, we caught it, so uh, that's pretty good. So that's our, our second Shadow Pokemon. Uh, I'll give slight spoilers again. Uh, there are a total of 83 in the entire game, so, you know, we're only two out of 83 for the way of being done. I guess I lost that one, that machine on your arm. It's quite the getup. The way the lights pulse and all is mighty impressive, whatever it is. I thought for a second there that you'd taken my Pokemon. Ha ha, ha ha, ha, I actually did. So, uh, let's see, we can't actually, I don't think we can actually get to this 
right now, unless this is a quarter rotation. Oh, okay, no, it is a quarter rotation. I thought it was a full rotation, but no. Um, we actually can get to the lighthouse. It seems like a very inconvenient place to have a lighthouse because you can't actually get to it from shore without going over one of those bridges. So, you know, if the bridges were broken down and you needed to get up to the lighthouse so it could, you know, serve its function, that might be a problem, you know. You might have ships suddenly crashing into everything. So, uh, you don't have to do the lighthouse stuff now, um, but I do recommend it because you'll get some free items. Like, you'll get a potion here. Um, uh, there's actually something on the other side, too. One paralyze heal. Which apparently they didn't have enough spaces in the name to fit the whole paralyze. But I won't blame them for that because programming can be tough sometimes. But oh, I think we actually do have a battle. Or maybe not. We'll see what this woman has to say. You're a rare child. Most people would take the elevator. Are you doing this for exercise? Ho, 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 ho. I guess she didn't want to battle us. But I want to say there is actually a battle. I think it might be on the top of the lighthouse that you can do. Um, so I do recommend coming here for that, at the very least, you know, if the items weren't incentive enough. But, again, you know, that battle will be the most useful to you. Ha ha! Ha ha! An awakening. Sorry. Nothing against Fire Emblem. You know, Fire Emblem Awakening. I've heard it's a good game. I, I don't actually own it. But, yeah, I would recommend at least coming here for that battle, because, you know, you can't beat experience. Does that guy have, like... Like, the front of his hair sticking out? I mean, it looks like it. That, that, yeah, well. Okay, whatever. I didn't want to talk to you anyways. Go away. Or just, you know, stay here. Whatever suits your fancy. But, here we have, uh, the top. So... It's actually pretty cool. You know, you can actually, you can see the rest of the port. Um, you can't see the people, but, you know, again, this is a GameCube game. This isn't, you know, next gen or... I guess current gen consoles. Uh, you know, and it also is probably about a decade, if not more so, old at this point. So, just you know, appreciate the game for what it is. You can see the distance out. Uh, you see the island in the distance out at sea. It's always obscured by clouds. It sounds kind of like Mirage Island from the Hoenn region. If only those clouds weren't there, we could see gorgeous sunsets at dusk. Yeah, that is actually kind of a pity, especially since. You know, you have this lighthouse here, and if you could look out from this lighthouse at the sunset, I would imagine that would be beautiful. So, somebody gave me a wickedly tough to Pokemon. Actually, I think this might be another Shadow Pokemon. Um, I guess we'll see in a few seconds. Zubat and Kuchina. I say it's one of the two. You know, covering all my bases there. And we do indeed have a Shadow Pokemon. It's the Pichina. Alright, so let's uh, let's take care of the Zubat real quick. Just kind of the same strategy as earlier. Uh, with the double battles, it's a lot easier to... Oh, critical hit, but it's definitely going to take it out. But it's a lot easier to get rid of uh, one Pokemon early, and then, you know, it can't attack you, can't really damage you. Um... Just makes your life easier. Oh, hey, look! There's your first mode. So, uh, since I think we're kind of we're okay on the damage output, um, I'll actually call Pity Ursa out of reverse mode to uh, show you what it does. So, yeah, I'll just have Vaporeon do a tackle because I don't want to do anything too strong. I guess it is dark, so it would resist, but eh, whatever. So, in order to call a Pokemon out of reverse mode, you use the call command. Imagine that. But, yeah, the other function that call has is that it will awaken sleeping Pokemon. Um, if your Pokemon isn't in reverse mode or sleeping, then calling it will uh, just raise its accuracy. So again, if you like uh, X accuracies, they're kind of useless because of the you know the call command. Um, the Puchina just use Shadow Hold there. Uh, that is kind of like the move mean look, in which it won't let you swap out after just. Uh, used, I think, until the Pokemon that used it faints. So, with the Vaporeon's turn here, I'm going to throw a Pokeball on Teddy Ear, so I'm just going to use Shadow Blitz on it so I can get a little bit more damage in case I don't catch it. So let's see how this goes. And thus begins the counting of the shakes. 
One, two, three, caught. So, I mean, we're really early in the game. You know, these are weak Pokemon. We can probably catch them with greater than half their HP left. Um, you know, I'm going to try to be a good Pokemon catcher and lower they, their HP into the red if I can. Um, also, probably be putting Paralyze on most things. Because um, status effects do help you... Uh, catch Pokemon, it does increase the catch rate along with, you know, the lower their HP is uh, the better it catches. The reason I like Paralyze so much is because it never goes away. Like, they're, you know, obviously I know that Sleep and I think Freeze are like better for catching, because uh, they increase the catch rate more, but I just feel like if you're going to have to keep putting Sleep on it in the event that it fails, that, it, you know, it, it just gets annoying, um, and it wastes turns that you could actually be trying to catch it. And then the other thing that Paralyze does is that it also slows, you know, cuts their speed in half, so... I don't know, I just like it. Um, and it also has a chance of making them not able to move, so... That's just my personal preference, though. So, uh, Bodybuilder Killin, I joined that organization because they said they give me a strong Pokémon, something that's not like the usual ones. Well, what was so tough about that? I was conned! Con! Sorry about that. But... I think that's all that we can actually do in Gateon Port at the moment, so we took the stairs up. There's really no reason to take the stairs down. Um, you know, it, after all, it is more exercise to go up the stairs than it is to go down the stairs, so let's just take the elevator down to save time and to save our legs. A little bit of work. You know, my, my video game character's legs, even though there's really not... <laughs> I, I, I don't have to care about it, because, you know, this game doesn't have any kind of feature that features that game. A feature that features that. Wow. Um, I am the most eloquent of speakers. There's another house here that's just kind of out. I, I don't get why you'd want to have a house here. Like, I really do not. Magni Magni. Okay, you just you just keep on doing that, Magnemite. Let's talk to this guy. I've lived in Gateon Port for many, many years, but I've never seen a cruiser that grand or luxurious. That cruiser looks capable of sailing anywhere in the world. I would surely love to sail on it. I'm assuming he's talking about Mr. Varric's ship, but actually, we never went over and looked at that, so you know what? I'll go over and give that a quick a quick run over here. So I believe... It actually, it won't matter which way we, we step here, because this is a vertical piece, and it's not an L piece. Although, oh no. Um, I... We might be in trouble here. Oh, actually, it does matter, because um, it matters the direction that we turn the other one. So we have to turn it this way so that we get this path that allows us to go back. Oh man, so hard. It only took me two tries to figure it out. This game is truly the most challenging with its puzzles. So let's go over and see uh, Mr. Barracks liner here. Huh? I mean, it's... It looks, it looks nice. Um, it would probably be bigger for how ridiculously wealthy he's been purported to be. But, oh well. So, I'm actually going to check up on our Pokemon status for the second. Yeah, we should, we should go get some heals. So, I'm going to head over to the Pokemon Center. And I think after that, I will call it an episode. Um, slightly shorter. Um... But uh, it's just kind of a good place to cut it, you know, right before we take the machine part uh, back to... Oh, that's a shop. But, uh, yeah, before we take the machine part back to uh, the research lab HQ. So, just get our Pokemon healed up real quick. And uh, I will bid you guys adieu. So thank you for waiting. We restored all of your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. And you probably will. I don't know how long it will be, though, because I think our business in Gateon Port is actually going to be done for quite some time. So, with that, I think uh, I'm going to cut out here. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been Red X Parasite, signing out.